Good afternoon, everybody. Irish Guy JG with you. I am out in the shop. I got off a little early today because we have open house for our kids at the school, so I have to go get cleaned up. And then we have a charity bike run this, this evening that I'm going to be partaking in as well. So welcome to the channel. I want to get a message out. I try to get a message out every day, whether it's recovery, talking about uh, God's word, living in, in, in sobriety, reading from the Bible. We got lots of things that we do on this channel. And I'm telling you guys, even though these messages are important and, and I love giving them and it's, it's nice to get the likes and, and all the whatever. It doesn't get shared much, but the likes, the comments, new people that have subscribed. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving me the time of day to teach you, to let you watch me teach myself as well as everybody else what's in God's word. Because you know what? It's as easy as, as turning your phone around, opening up your Bible and sharing it with other people. And I know not everybody is up for doing that, but hey, it's it's a blessing in my life and, and, and I live in recovery, so I don't foresee that changing. So as long as I am stable in recovery, stable in sobriety, live in through God's word, I'm going to continue to give these messages. So today I want to read in 2 Corinthians. I'm going to read chapter 5. Now, like I prefaced this yesterday, I kind of said a little bit to, to some of you guys that are a little bit more uh, m m uh, spiritually mature and spiritually developed, you know, a lot of these books in the Bibles have very um, certain um, aspects of, 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 of your spiritual walk. So, so God's word it speaks to us all differently. It speaks to some of you guys who've been reading it for a really long time differently and you guys have known. So I really appreciate all you guys who, who, who in the comments, you know, especially Ross. Ross, my hat goes off to you, sir. And, 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 and we talk every day. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't imagine a day that has gone by recently where I haven't spoken to Ross. And um, just it's, it's, it's an excellent thing because he provides a lot of wisdom on the channel and a lot of breakdown. So although I know I just kind of jump around in the Bible, but most of these things that I read from um, do have a lot of purpose in my life. And, and one way or another, I like sharing it with you. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to, to do what I do. And uh, it's been a blessing. It's been awesome. It's been an honor. It's a pleasure truly is chapter 5 2nd Corinthians for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved we would have a building of God and a house not made with hands internal in the heavens for in this we groan earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked for we that are in this tabernacle do groan being burdened not for that we would have be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought, wrought for the self same thing as God, who also hath given us into the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst our we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Amen? For we walk by faith, not by sight. So 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Excellent. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen? Amen. We are confident, and I say, willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Amen. Whether we labor, that whether present or absent, we may have accepted him, be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest into your consciences. For we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give that you occasion to glory our, on our behalf, amen, that ye may have somewhat to answer them which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, is it to God? Or whether we be sober, is it to your cause? For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead, and that he died for all that which lived they which lived should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Amen. Amen. Wherefore, henceforth know we know man after the flesh. Ye though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Amen. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's a good that's a good one as well. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Are become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself 
by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto itself, himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, but ye reconciled to God. For hath he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the whole one, the whole chapter. Amen, amen. I love you guys. All the blessings and all the... Everything that I want for you guys out in, in the YouTube world, and everybody that I have a personal connection with, everybody that's commented, everybody that, that stays on the channel, I want you guys to be blessed in the name of Jesus, walking by faith, not by sight alone, you guys. We are walking with the Lord. Let Him lead. We follow. Let Him teach. We preach. He teaches us, then we preach, and we, we learn it through God's Word. So I'm a little tired, you guys. I've had a long, long couple of weeks. We've been on this job for three three weeks now. It's just been a nonstop grind of go, go, go. And the heat here, it's 90 today, and it's just been ugh. But I have faith that Jesus Christ is going to see me through and that I'm not doing all this in vain. I'm making a paycheck. I'm supporting my family. I'm getting out in the world. I'm seeing people, and I'm outreaching to other people any way and every which way I can. If I see somebody down and sitting in their vehicle, I seriously will walk up to them and ask them if they're, if they're okay. I will hand out Bibles. I will make sure that there's some of my cards, my ministry cards, I will leave them in the bathrooms at gas stations because, you know, and you want to know where I leave them, you guys? I leave them by the needle dispensary in the in the bathrooms. Now, I don't go in the women's, obviously, but in the men's, I go in the men's and I leave a couple a, a couple cards or a stack on there because you know what, people that are using, I used to use those needle trays. I used to go into gas station bathrooms, public, private, didn't matter, anywhere to get your fix and get out your spoon and get out your needle and do that sort of dirty deed, right? We had, we had to have an opportunity or a place to do that and that's where it was. So I'm having an opportunity to walk in there without all that garbage in my body, on my mind, in my pocket, anywhere near me. And I am walking in there with a ministry card hoping that somebody, anybody, anybody in the name of Jesus, please let anybody pick up those, those cards or one card and, and find the message that comes through this channel, not from me, but through the Father, through me to you guys and find that message and find sobriety or find a reason to live. Jesus is that reason to live. He is the reason to be sober and live in recovery. I cannot stress it anymore. I'm serious as a heart attack. I'm, I, I, I don't like analogies that like that, but gosh darn it, you guys, I am serious. My life has been just changed. Who am I? I am somebody in Christ. I've been reborn. I've been renewed. My faith has never been stronger. It's never been bigger. It's never been more firm in the Lord. So if you guys find inspiration in these messages, if you guys find inspiration in everything that we do on the channel, please hit the like button, share it, let people know that there's there's people out here that are trying to give out hope, trying to give out inspiration, trying to give out, you know, I'm trying to make you guys complete through God's word. I'm trying to help you guys find Jesus to, to put that last puzzle piece in together for your life so you guys can, and a lot of you guys have found Christ. So some of these messages are just geared towards those people who haven't found Christ yet. Who are still out on the streets, under the bridge, putting needles in their arms, a bottle to their mouth, whatever it is, those are the people that I want to hear this message. So if you know somebody out there still sick and suffering, please pray for them first and foremost. Get that out of the way. Stop what you're doing and pray for people. People need prayer. God wants to know your love for other people. And when you're when you're praying and when you're showing that faith to God that you want that you can pray for other people and put yourself aside, that shows a lot in God and He'll give you more opportunities to help other people if you are obedient, if you don't hesitate, if you're constantly praying to the Father and letting Him know how you feel and you're constantly thinking about other people, He's gonna bring other people into your life that you can help. But but my friends, some of those people are in disguise. Some of those people that come into your lives, they aren't here saying, hey, I need help. These people come in disguises, so what you can do is the best thing I can tell you to do, besides staying sober and having a relationship with Jesus Christ, without that is you need to be an example. We need to be an example to other people. We need to show other people that it is possible to be obedient, to walk in the light, to walk in the straight and narrow, 
And sometimes we slip, sometimes you fall, but there are always people there to lift you back up. And especially Jesus Christ will be there to lift you up. Pray on the Holy Spirit. Ask God to come into your life. Ask Him to give you confirmations. Ask Him to reveal His plan to you from Him through God's Word, through prayer, through worship, through praise. Father, we love you. All that will get you a connection with God, with Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. Call on the Holy Spirit. Ask Him to bless your heart. Ask Him to heal your heart. Ask Him to reveal it. Ask Him to do what you need right now. Do you need sobriety? Do you need somebody to pray for you? Do you need do you need a helping hand? Do you need a new job? Do you need money? Do you need this? Do you need that? Call on God. He knows our needs. He will provide that need in a way that suits you in due time. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. But that's on God's time. It's on His will. I'm in love with the Lord. I'm in love with the Lord Jesus Christ. I can't stop. I can't stop. So if you've made it 10 minutes and 11, 11 minutes into this message, I thank you guys. The views have been going up and everybody seems to love the messages. So I just, I'm so appreciative. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do this open house for my kids tonight. And I'm going to go out and do this, uh, this bike run and uh, hope to have a safe ride tonight. So you guys, God bless you all in the name of Jesus. If you need anything, you can email me at irishguyjg at yahoo.com. And if you've made it this far in the message, you guys, Tell me down below what you guys are grateful for. Tell me what you guys are grateful for. Did somebody in your life recently find Jesus? Do you know somebody that needs prayer to find Jesus? Tell me what's going on in your life in the comments. I love to hear what's going on and I love to pray for other people. I love to sit there, write these things down, write down names, write down dates, write down names and people of that are affiliated with them, like say, you know, Bobby says that we need to pray for Mary. I write on all those names and I pray for them people specifically. And we send out a prayer list on Tuesdays. This last Tuesday, I didn't get one out, you guys. I apologize. But the, well, the weeks prior, we send them out every other week. So we have two weeks of prayer list of people to pray for. So if you pick a person each day, you should have plenty of people to pray for each day. So I love you guys. God bless you. If you guys are needing prayer or anything like that, put it in the comments below. But I'm telling you guys, this is the community. There's a fellowship of people on this channel that love to help each other, that love to connect. So you're gonna see these people on this channel, you're gonna see them on other channels, and I know I'm not on a lot of other people's channels. I don't really watch a whole lot of YouTube anymore. I get on and I do my thing on here, and I, I do scoot around a little bit, but you guys are gonna see all these people on other channels, and just be an example. Look at what we do on other people's channels, because it all reflects how, who we are, and who we are is we're in Christ's name. We're examples of Christ's name if you're a believer. So God bless you, I'm praying for all you people, and. I want to just, one, one, one last thing I want to tell you guys is that we don't ever know the future. We don't ever know what, what's going to come or what's going to be coming around the corner. So if you get in the habit of doing what's right every single day, you don't ever have to worry about what's coming around the corner because you know that God has your back. If you're doing His will and being obedient, there are going to be people that come into your lives that you would think that, oh, I'll never be friends with that person. Oh, that person is this, that person is that. That is called judgment, my friends. And God has a way of just miraculously, so graciously, awesomely showing us that sometimes we're wrong. So judging a book by its cover cannot be done. We need to, we need to be open with people that are, are, are of all faiths, all sizes, all creeds, sexes, colors, whatever doesn't matter because everybody has an opportunity to have their name written in the book of life. And so if you're judging, if we're busy judging people by what they look like, by what they wear, maybe they drink, maybe they do drugs, it doesn't, those things matter, yes. But in the grand scheme of things, we're looking to get people's names written in the book of life because that's what Jesus wants us to do. We need to be stewards of his word and go out and find people for him. Everybody needs to have the opportunity to hear about God because he is the one running the show here. And if you have that connection with him, your life can be changed. I used to be a down good, no, no good, rotten scoundrel, drug using, anything and everything, okay? Now I'm somebody who, I'm, I'm a reputable person. I'm not anywhere near as where I would like to be. But God has given me a second chance and that's what, what this channel is about. So if this message has inspired you or it's given you some sort of hope, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'm so blessed. I know these serious, these messages can be serious, you guys. But there's somebody out there that needs to hear this whole 15-minute message that might be like, oh my gosh, pray for me. You know, whatever you guys get out of these messages, I hope it's something. I just, I, I just hope and I pray in the Lord's name that you guys are getting something out of these messages. So, love you guys. God bless you all. Pray for a safe ride tonight. God bless.